this really needs a new steering cable. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a steering cable in an inboard boat. This is what a crappy steering cable feels like. This is what a smooth steering cable feels like. This is a 1995 Nautique Supersport. The process will be similar for other inboard boats. Let's get into it. Tools you will need. Crescent wrench, 9 16 wrench, 7 16 wrench, half inch socket, 7 16 socket, ratchet wrench, dikes, screwdriver or impact, marine grease, gloves, rope, and zip ties. Any of the products that can be bought on Amazon, I'll have affiliate links in the description. The two main places we're gonna be are gonna be underneath the steering wheel, right underneath here, and then also back at the rear by the rudder. So the steering cable actually runs down underneath the bottom of the boat and there's just some screws here that hold this into place. But before we do that, we have to get this rear seat out. Because we have the back seat out, now we just need to take out the floor. So this whole floor piece will actually come up now. We're gonna go up underneath the steering column. We'll have to loosen the bolt and hold the nut on the other side. It looks like a 7 16 box end wrench works. That's what it looks like with the part out up by the steering wheel. So this is back here in the rear hatch and you can see it right there. That's where the rudder is. Well, at least the connection is. So I'm gonna take this partition out, which will give me easier access down there. There's just an L bracket right there that I had to take out. And then right here, there's a couple bolts. Okay, let's get a little close up. So you're gonna have to loosen that bolt right there and then come back and loosen that nut right there. It's good. Nut, washer, and bolt. It's a shoulder bolt with a washer and a lock nut on it. After pulling the cable through the tilt tube, tie the rope through the hole on the end of the cable. So to get access up under here behind the dash, I needed to remove the kick panel. So there's just a screw here, a screw here, and then there was another one up here in this corner. And then this just pulls out. Any of the zip ties holding the cable in place need to be cut. Places to check for zip ties are the engine bay, by the fuel tank, in the ski locker, and under the dash. Now just pull the cable out from underneath the dash. It's much easier with two people, but can be done with just one. Oh, they made it look way harder than what it needed to be. It's my daughter's birthday. I need to get cleaned up. Camille and I are taking her out on a date, and I'll have to finish this later. Now tie the rope in the same place on the new cable and feed the cable down underneath the floor using the rope to guide the cable. We have our cable slid all the way back here. Here is the tilt tube. So this is what's supposed to be lubed. And I'm supposed to lube the nut. And I've tightened this up as much as it'll go. I'm supposed to tighten it, I think, to 25 foot-pounds. But I'm just going to tighten it until it's pretty tight. I'm going to grease this shoulder bolt because it's a moving part. Done. I always have to hook up the last piece. I'm going to put some more marine grease right here on the splines. I don't think it necessarily said to, but I'm going to anyways. And this came with new hardware. So I'll just use the hardware that came with it. Zip tie the cable in all the locations that zip ties were removed. Now from here we just have to put the boat all back together. Next time you go to the lake, make sure you bring a three-quarter socket and a ratchet. Get the boat driving straight. Take out this cap right here and then take out the steering wheel here. It has little splines on here so you can have fine adjustment. You can slide it on line everything up put on the washer put on the nut and then line up your logo make sure everything's going straight thank you for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel so that we can continue to help you share your love of boating with your kids if you want to learn how to teach your kids how to wakeboard even when it's winter check out this video right here